Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to make a background from scratch. This is similar to One Kind Media, but I'll go by step by step and how to make a decent background. Okay, first, let me send out of this real quick. Okay, so your channel, put the theme, the colors, put it to clean, save changes. I'll put this in a link to add on, but you capture entire page. <clears throat> Press done. Wait for it to prepare. It's only going to take like, I don't know, but real quick. Right click, save image as desktop, or whatever. I'll just name it YouTube. File new crap. Find that image that you just put in. I mean, save. Zoom in so you can see. Grab the rectangular marquee tool. I don't know how to say it. But okay. Drag it across. Bring it down to the gray line, like round right it of it. Select inverse. Image. Crop. And then hold Control D. Okay, so now you have that. Make a new layer. Click this button down here. If you don't have the rulers on the side, just press View. Click Rulers. Okay, now you start doing this. Drag that down here. I'm gonna do it real quick. I mean, I take more time, but if I was making a good background, but I'm just showing you guys how to do it. Depends if you want to make it like one big box or you can just go like across here. But I like to make it one big box. <clears throat> Have that. Okay, so now you have that new layer right there. Pick whatever tool you want, either the rounded rectangular tool or the rectangle. Prefer the rectangle tool. Whatever color you want, pick black so it stands out. You just put it by the blue edges and it'll connect like that. That mistake forever. Hmm. <laughs> Let me zoom out a little. I 
Okay, so now once you have that, you can just click view, show, unclick guide, so those blue lines won't be there. Hold shift from the first shape to the last one, right click, merge layers. Then you can unclick that eye so the picture ain't there no more, like that, like this. Make a new layer. Get a color that you want. I'm going to put black. I have to make this a different color so you can see it. What I like to do, it's kind of from strats, but okay. I'm going to put those guys inside the box. Credit for them. Grab this tool. I make it to 1250. Pick whatever color you want. I'm going to put white. Line it up like right in the so it's equal amount. Okay, so you have that. You can change the colors by going to color overlay. I'm going to leave it in dark gray. Okay, so getting on to the boxes. Basically, you can do whatever you want to it, but I'm going to put outer layer, outer glow on it, I mean. I want to make it black. I want to change the color. You make a new layer. You get the paint, the paint bracket. Pick what color you want. Why I made a new layer? So you can put things on it. Light gray like that. Well, kind of darkish. So you can do kind of things like this. I would also, I'll also put this gradient inside the description box if you guys want to download it. Prefer to make it the biggest. I put the opacity down to about 20. Actually, I put it down to 10. Okay, so make it look better. And so there's in like a white line on the bottom of your background. Grab this tool. There's three of them. You grab any one you want. Make it a thousand. Well, you can make it anything you want, but I'll make it a thousand. Hold shift and drag it across as many times as you want. Okay. So I'm going to make that black. Okay, so a common thing is make a new layer. A lot of people do this. Show guides. Make a new one. Actually, you don't even need to do this. Guides, make a new one in the back. Any size you want. Doesn't matter. Race riser, right click, race riser layer. Okay, now, have your thing on top of the box. Control, click on the background. Go to this arrow. And then click that and click this so it's equal. Okay. <clears throat> so after this, you can pick whatever color you want. Uh, I'm the type of person who likes to put auto glow on everything. I think it looks better with it. I like black. Not to be racist or anything. Okay, so that's a simple background right there. You can add things to it like bevel and emboss. You can make it to whatever you want. I like to make it normal. I like to make the depth 
to a thousand. That's kind of a screw up. You can add strokes to it, whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Okay, so, well, Apple Z. So that's basically a simple layout. The next video, I'll be showing you how to add shit. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.